So this little Jacob Reese Mog issue with Ofcom, um, I put in loads of complaints. I don't really know what's happening with it. It looks like they're just gonna ignore it basically. All of this, I know there's an official proper Ofcom sort of um, issue because of select committee and the whole Professor Tim Wilson thing and many other people as well. But I wanted to actually properly release this um, Ofcom track, but um, I had loads of arguments with. Um, my music publishers of uh, permission to use Mog's photo when it's clearly political rights, even using the photo. But I'm having that same argument with this, um, with that um, versus YouTube track as well. You don't need permission when it's for political matters. I mean, the, the, the advert that the Tories did with Alex Salmon and Ed Miliband is, is evidence that it, it's fact. Um, and I just can't be bothered arguing with iTunes and Amazon. They're too big. They just, you know, they're just do. I mean, it's they're they're just um, they're wrong, and they're just using ignorance and um, um, you know, no one can afford to take them to court. Um, and you know, I you know, TuneCore and DistroKid less. Um, that they're less as bad, but I mean, they'd actually did try to get them published for me, but then, you know, they kind of gave up and then they sort of like, you know, they said, oh, we're not going to put any more music out, even though I'm paying for like a subscription, you know, it's meant to be unlimited music. And all these matters need, I need, you need to use force through the courts and um, I'm not in the mood for it. There's too many things to sort out. There's my YouTube channel and then there's like this 38 degrees dispute and argument over my petitions on there when they're meant to be on our side. And then, like, there's other issues with the tax and VAT when you're getting things bought that no one's doing right. There's all these things that are clearly... It's plain and clear in law with great clarity, and there isn't really any argument. It, it, they're just not doing it right. And what I've come to think is it's like, you know, there's all these criminals around and they're just breaking the law, and the police are meant to make them do it. There are all these huge big companies doing things, and we haven't got any enforcement the police won't get involved, they'll say it's civil matter or whatever, but there's lots of legal requirements for them to do certain things, like um, it is illegal for them to um, take your um, political material down. It's in the Bill of Rights, it's illegal, um, you know, for intervention in campaigns. You know, in 501c3 in America, that that's what you... Jimmy Dore doesn't even mention 501c3, which is... It, it is an intervention in the campaign. And that is illegal. And when when you're a non profit, you're not you're not um putting videos out for profit. You know, even if you're really you're allowed to actually collect money for campaign purposes, it's not regarded as a non profit as well, which YouTube about doing. And even on the V what about the VAT for that on YouTube, you know, paying tax. Um it, it these big massive companies are just doing things so wrong, which is what the Petitions Committee in Parliament are doing. I mean, the thing is, um, Jeff Bice Cars has just done a video, you know, because that 20 mile an hour speed limit petition was rejected, although there's another one that is published. But, I mean, other people are having issues as well. Also with local councils, writing to MPs and getting the same reply. So we're all kind of like, in a way, at the moment, we're all kind of like stranded without any help and we don't seem to be able to help each other. And there's a few people who have got these channels and they're building up an audience, you know, um, and they're getting people to kind of come round gradually, you know, like Jimmy Dore and George Galloway and people like that. But each one's got their own kind of agenda. And then you've got people like this Andy the Gabby Cabby who, you know, he, he's he got a big audience. Jeff Taylor has got a big audience. Um, they, they get donations. They've got... A lot they've got a lot of weight on them, but they don't. I don't think they quite realise what weight they've got. The, 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 it, it's really annoying because you know you, you kind of just want to try and help them, not tell them what to do, not take over their channels, but kind of like say, look, you know, you're doing this right. You know, you've you've got it good. You know, it's almost like you know if someone's kind of like you know doing sports and then they're like you know they're quite good at it, but then you just think you know if they could just correct the swing a little bit or just do something. You know, you're not trying to take over. But it's just a little bit of advice. You know, um, you know, trying to help them out a bit, um, but they don't seem to get it. And you know, if if you could just you know, it it, it they're just kind of like you know, 
it, it, it's it, you know, Jimmy. This is the thing with Jimmy Dore. His channel is constantly making progress, and then every you know other week there's like a new breakthrough statement. And like, oh, now he's saying this, you know, and now he's saying that, and then he he, he, he kind of like each time is a new level of you know this is what people need to be saying, and then he he, he kind of just like notches onto the next notch each time. Um, but you know, so with this kind of like gone off track a bit there, just more generalizing. You know, these are all the um, political um, petitions that I've got to make a political point um, to Parliament. So with this MOG issue, right, and Ofcom as well, seeing the Ofcom's a public taxpayer-funded. So with this Reese mog issue, i done this, like, jousting with Jacob Reese mog like, um, use this kind of... Found this cool Bash Street Kids, and I did like the Euless Street Kids, but it's kind of got this guy um, character who just looks like Jacob Reese Mogg. I think he's called Walter, but like it, it literally is Mogg because um, he's going to get knighted, isn't it? So you know, in the Magna Carta, this is like six minutes in now, and I'm just getting on to what I wanted to say. So in Magna Carta, right? It says that um, this is like the this is like you know the you know david cameron's well known of saying that magna carta is like the start of proper constitution and so forth you know the proper um laws established law of england so in the magna carta they've got this kind of like all the ranks and positions and you know the peers and the lords and the barons and the constables and the sheriffs and the knights and the the, the whole you know like you've got the archbishop of canterbury and the religious order it, it's setting out the whole orders right the whole order of you know um you know the the not just the king and the ruling monarchy but you know it, the whole thing you know the whole establishment right and the thing is so justices of the peace right so the thing about justices of the peace is the and the whole thing with the juries and the constables and even when you appear in court and you as a witness and you have to take the oath and go up on the stand when they get the jury in the jury basically um they have to read the oath you know and it, it's official proceedings and you've got a judge there and you know um, it, it, it's not some ceremony with the judge. The judge doesn't kind of like you know knight them or um, you know um, you know baptize them in the back room you know, like with the holy water or something like that. Which I kind of thought it was a little. I thought like the I kind of thought like the justice um, one of the judges would kind of like go in the back room like you know and like do some kind of like um, you know under the fucking. Um, you know, um, Road of Prince of Thieves, you know, under Nottingham Rock, you know, or something like the the witch in the cellar, <laughs> you know, we're, we're throwing the runes or something. You know, I thought like you know the 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 the, the court clerics with the robes, you know, and the um, I thought that you know, I'm, I'm maybe I'm kind of like exaggerating for humour value, but you know, you know, basically I kind of thought that they did some sort of little kind of like sworn in sort of thing for the jury. Um, but it, it's not like the the judge doesn't kind of like you know I'm a judge. Um, it, it, it's kind of like from what I've seen on it shows you uh, on YouTube. You know it shows you um, they they just come in right and you know they've been called supposedly at random so we're led to believe, and then they stand there and I think it's just the clerk or whoever. Not the judge, you know, when the clerk basically, um, you know, says, you know, will you take the oath, you know, in, in front of, you know, obviously all the witnesses were, you know, take the oath and then they have to read it out. Um, so so the, the, the jury take the oath. Uh, effectively, I, I think what's happening is they're being made justices of the peace for that session. And then obviously they're discharged after. Um, Whereas, like, you know, your judge is a full-time job. He's taken the oath of allegiance and, um, you know, to, you know, uphold the law and so forth. But you see, all, all, every witness takes an oath. But notice that when you are a witness, if you've ever been in court and you're giving testimony, you only have to swear. I've kind of sort of made a video a little bit about this. You know, swear you swear an oath to tell the truth under God, right? Or now they've got other oaths for different religious factors 
fractions, um, and you don't actually swear an allegiance to the king, and um, or to uphold the law. You don't like a police officer as takes an oath to um, enforce and uphold the law, but you don't do that when you're a witness. You just have to tell the truth, you know, and swear to God. Now the thing with the police um, constable's oath to uphold the law, that's why he's meant to have got to uphold the law. Really, once he's taken the oath, you know, this whole thing, oh, I'm on duty, I'm off duty, I don't kind of get that, because, you know, like, if, if the person's meant to be, um, um, you know, power invested in them to uphold the law, you would have thought the police, that personage of the police officer, whether he's been paid or not, he's taken the oath, you know, um, all this on and off duty kind of business, um, which baffles me. Um, so we've got sheriffs and constables and so forth and justices. You can, you know, this is magist. You can, you can be a magistrate if you want and get sworn in. You see, all, all the chairmen of the councils were meant to be justices of the peace, but the House of Lords wanted to slim down on justices of the peace and get rid of a lot of them. And the, there aren't as many now. There are a lot less people who are justices of the peace powers. Uh, but you can do it. You can get sworn in um, as a justice of the peace. It's not impossible if you want to do it. Not a lot of people want to do it. Some people do. Uh, and you can go be, be magistrates. This is why you have three magistrates. But if you've got a proper district judge, then it's just one judge, you know. The magistrates are just justices of the peace. So the, now the thing is, in the Magna Carta, you've got um, the priests are... We've got powers, and so of the knights of the realm. And you see, in the absence of any justices of the peace, a knight of the realm can make judgments, right? Okay? And, but also the, you know, the priests as well, you know, clergymen. Now, I don't want to go into modern law and into modern clauses in this, but I know that this is a principle is still in effect because I've I've used this loads and loads and loads of com loads of talks, which is that you know when you get married, it is legal proceedings. Uh, you know, you're bound in marriage, and it has legal effect. You know, um, over your status and your possessions and everything, and. Obviously, that's a legal power, you know, that the priest has to, to, to bind the couple together. And then, but, you know, priests don't like breaking people apart, even though they've got powers. So, that, that you know, you go to a, um, you know, a civil, civil court or, you know, whatever, civil proceedings for annulments or whatever. So it, it's, you know, just people with l legal powers, you know, justices and so forth. Um and all the like, lawyers are just people who learned in law, admitted to the bar. Supposedly, you got graduated to the knowledge of you know the proceedings and procedures, and um, you know you can um, and obviously got a knowledge of the law. Although, ironically, the magistrates, um, the, the justices of the peace, some of them don't really know the law, and that's why they've got a legal advisor there in the court. District judges are meant to be more educated on the law, and high court judges. Now. The thing is about the knight, it, it's kind of more a joke character now because, you see, the majority of these people live the life and they might be successful in life, like, you know, football players or football managers or scientists or um, inventors or whatever they are um, and then you know it, it, it's always after they've done this or that or after they've you know done a service then they're rewarded with the knighthood usually later in life like you know Bruce Forsyth, Terry Wogan they're usually old men most knights are old men you know or at least at least middle age if not you know they've already done their big thing you know so like you know um They've already done the, um, you know, the, the, you know, although, you know, you get um, Andrew Lloyd Webber still knocking out plays and so forth, um, you know, but obviously he's, he's, he's in the peerage now, you know, past prime ministers, 
But so the title of knight, knight, it's hardly charging around, you know, on a steed in the service, military service um, of a lady or or a monarch um, to do certain um, deeds. You know, they've done whatever it is they've done. Although you've got Alan Sugar now, who's, who's, you know, Sir Alan Sugar, and he's knocking around on TV programmes, which is quite ironic, because, um, now this is the thing, even if it's just, you know, the, the high sheriff of the county is more of a ceremonial position now, but even though it's regarded as more of a ceremonial position, it isn't completely and totally a, an act, theatre, a facade, uh, they've got to do certain things. They are the high sheriff, you know. The, the, you either are the high sheriff or you aren't. And even if it's more, more for ceremonial purposes, you either you've got the powers or you haven't, you know. Uh, and powers do come with it, even though whether they use them or not. This is like in Scotland, they've got the Lord Advocate, you know, um, which is a, a, a woman the last time I looked. Um, and she gets, you know, she's in the Privy Council as well, whether she's Scottish um and um you know that that's you know she's got powers to initiate legal proceedings and blah 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 so the thing with the knights is you're either a knight of the realm or you're not um and the thing is they kneel <laughs> to the monarch you know they, they don't not kneel so this is the thing the kneeling is in the you know the the the, the oath of the the justice you pledge allegiance to the king um is in the kneel you know, kneel before the monarch, you know, uh, it's in the kneeling, you know, so they are servants of the realm, the, the, that's the oath to the, 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 the monarch, really, and to the state, uh, and that effectively, I mean, if you are going to kneel to the king and be knighted with a sword, ceremonial or not, um, you can't tell me that uh, if I walk into a courtroom, stand up on a, you know, podium or whatever it is, and then I, you know, like, you know, say the magic words, piff, piff, puff, 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 you know, you know, put my hand on the early Bible, I swear on almighty God, I will tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, you know, where's Rulu Mog fling and, you know, half a pen dragon, so mote it be, um, you know, whatever, uh, there we go, I've done it, that's it, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, I'm doing it now, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, now I will speak, uh, what did you say, you know, what did you do on the 17th of February, yes, um, I did, um, you're on a, I was there, I stepped to the left and stepped to the right, and then I twiddled around 360 and knelt down, that's it, that's, I tell the truth, I'm compelled, I, I was summoned, summoned here yeah, by powers, you know, that's it, the magic's working, the powers, that's it, that's why I'm here, you know, that's why they came and, uh, you know, grabbed me and put me in the van and brought me into court because I ignored the summons. There were no powers there. They had to come and physically, oh, these powers aren't working. We'll have to go grab him, send the mob, you know, send them round to Verbs' house to take his car or whatever. They put the clamp on his car or whatever. <laughs> but then, you know, <laughs> my off. you know, this is it. Um, but then he paid the money, paid the money. You know, the powers, the powers are working, compel the powers. You know, pay the fine, you're compelled to hand the money over. So this is it, you know. I mean, it, it, it is, I don't think that Mog is kneeling. It's you know, It could be theatre, but you know, is he going to use that title? Or to write your name down as Sir Reese Mog. I fill a form in now, it's a police form. Put your title here, you know. Oh, is this is this this like a you know is it nursery nursery school form? No, it's a proper form. I'm going to see my doctor in the HM government. Um, the old bog probably sees a private doctor, Sir Jacob Rees Mogg. Is that your title? Yes, yes, it's my title. That's my title, Professor Tim Wilson. You know, it's a proper title. It's a working title. You know, uh, are you qualified, Professor Tim Wilson, to make comments on you know television and? Um, you know, television broadcasting studio matters, you know, I would hope so if it's a professor, you know, this is it, you know, the, you know, so with Mog, the thing is, like a justice of the peace, he's sworn in. Now, I noticed they've got that program where they have um, court sessions and it, it's all kind of like, it, it, it makes you led to believe that all the courts are run by the book 
and everyone gets a chance to speak and so forth. I don't know if it was pretending to set the standard or not, but I don't think it was setting any standard in magistrates' courts. Um, but, you know, so... I don't know whether some of those justices should have been on the programme or not, although they weren't presenting it, it was just kind of filming the proceedings. But, you know, it, 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 you know, it, it, on some of those programmes, it feels like they're kind of presenting the programme from the position of the judge, which is quite interesting. Um, so, Mog, really, you know, and I know the Magna Carta, um, not all those clauses apply anymore, and then you got the petition of right included many of those clauses, but it's still, you know, you would think that, you know, if there weren't any judges, I don't know for whatever reason, um, if there weren't any justices, you know, and if there weren't any, um, you know, um, you know, priests that, you know, you would have thought, you know, the knights of the realm can uh, make judgments, you know, still. Well, you'd have thought so if 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 they've taken uh, you know if they've kneeled and taken the oath, they can do it. You know, it's not the pretend one; it's going to be the actual one, isn't it? It's the, well, they think it is because they're waltzing around with the title, aren't they? So I doubt. You know, I don't think that they think it's full on theatre comedy. You know, like complete and total um, pretend. I mean, it's you know that's, that's, I'm using that title. You know, unless you think life's a joke. You know, um, so. I, I think that, um, you know, I can't see how, you know, you got the Archbishop of Canterbury, who's the head of you know, the religious orders, the official religion and, and or, you know, get priests getting ordained. You know, once you're ordained, you can marry people. You know, if you're not ordained, you, know, you can't. So if you're an ordained priest, you, you can marry people. Um, that you can do it. You know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, we're doing it, you know. So you would have thought that, you know, that that's legal binding. So you would have thought that, you know, obviously if a, if a priest can marry people, then surely he can, he, 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 he's, he, he's making a legal order, surely. So surely a priest has, in an emergency, you know, like we're talking about, you know, war or something, um, surely a priest, in absence of a justice of the peace, you would have thought that, you know, the priest can do it. Well, he's doing it. He's making... Now, I know they're usually reserved to only engage in certain procedures, but I'm, I'm quite sure that, you know, lacking 